Look at these beautiful amaryllis blooms. I love them. So why is your amaryllis not blooming? Well, there's three main reasons why your amaryllis may not be blooming, and I'm gonna talk about them in this short video. So right. one of the most common reasons why your amaryllis may not be blooming that very first year you plant it is you didn't plant it at the correct depth. The correct depth is always allowing at least a third to a half of the bulb to be exposed above that soil line. If you plant your bulb too deeply, covering the entire bulb like you do for most bulbs, oftentimes you will have either no flowers or very small flowers. So planting your bulbs at the correct depth is absolutely essential. So causes number two and three are interconnected. Many times you'll have success growing your amaryllis that first year if you planted it at the correct depth, but then after that, you only ever get foliage, no flowers. What's going on? Why does that happen? Well, amaryllis need two requirements in that off season of that non-flowering time of year in order to really reaccumulate its energy and harness that energy so that they can then go forth and flower for you afterwards. And those two requirements are a period of about 12 12 weeks in darkness and relative coolness. You need to put your bulbs in a location of quite darkness, like a basement, a dark garage, a closet, some, somewhere like that. But it also needs to be relatively cool. Now that is gonna be the part that is most difficult for gardeners to achieve. It needs to be dark, that's typically quite easy, but they really need to experience those 12 to 15 weeks at around 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit in order for them to have the abilities to re-bloom. In heated garages, heated basements, heated closets, that's very difficult to achieve. So finding the right location can take a little bit of finesse and a little bit of practice in order to get it just right. I tried a new location last year and this is the result, only leaves and no flowers. So this year I have to find somewhere else in my home where I can get that period of darkness and coolness. I'm thinking, maybe in my crawl space beneath my living room, somewhere like that. You're going to have to really use your creative mind to find the right location for your amaryllis so that they can continue to bloom year after year. But the flowers and colors inside your home in the middle of winter are so spectacular, it is worth that extra effort. Well, if you do all three of those and you still are having trouble getting your amaryllis to bloom, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer with something helpful. Don't forget, like this video and subscribe to our channel. We're bringing new plant-related content every single week, all about all the plants that I love and that you love as well. Thank you guys for joining me here on Plant Vibrations. I'll catch you real soon. Ciao.